Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and we're here to talk about place values through the hundred trillions, which I know sounds like a huge number. We're going to break it down for you to make it nice and easy. All right, so the key when dealing with place values, you have to recognize that each number, depending on where it falls in your number, has a value. And the thing that's going to help you is if you let the commas do the talking. Here's what I mean. So let's just first start by looking at this number 742 and pretend to block out the rest of it. Okay? We know 742. We know that number is 742. And also we know that the 2 is in the 1's column. The 4 is in the 10's column. The 7 is in the 100's column. But then we have that comma. As soon as we hit that comma, things change. And our 8 is in the 1000's. Our three is in the ten thousands. Our one is in the hundred thousands. Wait, we hit a comma, so things change. Now we move to the millions. Our nine is in the millions. Six is in the ten millions. Three is in the hundred millions. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern. Wait, we hit a comma, so things change. We're now in the billions. One is in the billions. 2 is in the 10 billions, 7 is in the 100 billions. Wait, we hit a comma. After billions goes trillions. So I stopped at the 5 there, 5 trillion. But the truth is, they said 100 trillion, so let me add a couple, num couple numbers. 3 is in the 10 trillions, and I'm going with 9 for the 100 trillions. Woo! That's a whole lot there. So let me give you a couple examples and see if we can read these numbers. Let's take a look at this number. So it's a nice long number, but if I asked you what number is in the million spot? Well, remember, let the commas help you. So when we hit this comma, we know the number right in front of it is the thousands. And then we hit the next comma, we know we change to the millions. So five is in the millions category or millions place value. If I ask you what number is in the 10,000 category, 10,000 place value, we would take a look. What would you say? 10,000. First we go to the thousand, that's the two. And then, yep, three is our 10,000. Let's try one more with this number. What number is in the 100 millions place? 100 million. So let the commas help you. First comma, thousand. Second comma, million. So we know it's going to be in here somewhere. And since we said 100 million, it's the 7. I hope you've got it. Let's use this same number to go in the reverse direction. If I said to you, what place value is the 9 in? What would you say? Well, the 9, let the commas help you. Here we know we move to the 1,000. So this is going to be uh, 1,000, 10,000. 100,000 for the 9. What about the 1? What place is the 1 in? Let's take a look. 1,000, million, so we know it's in here. And this is going to be the 10 millions place. One more. What about the 0? Where does the 0 fall? Oh, the 0 is in the tens place. What does that mean, expanded notation? Well, I bet you didn't necessarily know that when we just write numbers like this, that that's called standard notation. It's just the way we write numbers. But expanded notation is expanding out this number and using the place values to tell us what the value is of each number. Here's what I mean. Let's start with this 5. The 5 is in which place? The 5 is in the hundreds place, right? So we would say 5 times 100, and that would give us the number 500. I'm going to write that down here. Let's keep moving. Now I want to add what's next. Well, we have the 2 is next. Well, the 2 is in which place? 2 is in the tens place, which would be 2 times 10 to give us that value of 20 because it's in the second column. And we know that this is 20. What about the 3? I can highlight that too. 
The three, we're going to add this, is in the ones place. So this is going to be three times one, and we're going to add three. Now when we come down to the bottom, we see 523 is what it totals up to, but we've used what's called expanded notation right here to, to give us a sense of how we got to this number in the first place. We had five one hundreds, we had two tens, and we had one, or we had three ones. <laughs> one three. There you go. <laughs> okay, expanded notation is very simple. All you've got to do is look at the place value and expand it out. Let's try another example. This time I've given you a little bit of a bigger number. So let's start on the left here and let's start with the five. The five is in which column? The ten thousands column. Good job. So we're gonna do five times ten thousand. We put it in parentheses. Plus, let's keep moving. We're on to the two. The two is in the thousands place. So two times one thousand. You with me? Let's keep going. The three is in the hundreds place. Plus parentheses three times one hundred. And the six is in the tens place plus parentheses six times ten. And we finish it off with the two, which is plus parentheses two times one. And there you go. That is your expanded notation. If you can do what I just did for every number, you've got it. It's pretty easy. I think you'll like this one. I've got one last problem for you. We also can go the other way. What if I gave you the expanded notation and I said give me the standard notation for the number? Let's take a look at this example. So here we have 6 times 1,000, which we know is 6,000 plus 3 times 10. Oh, what am I doing? There we go, 30. I started to write it all over again. 3 times 10, 6,000 plus 30, which is the same thing as saying 6,030. We just add it up and bam, we're back to the way we always write numbers, which is what we call standard notation. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.